<laughs> Hi, this is John and Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. We just got into the Central Missouri Renaissance Festival. This is our first time at a Renaissance Festival, so we just have no idea what to expect. But we're going to check it out because it seemed like fun. And we just got inside and it's it's already so cool. Everybody's dressed up. We feel a little bit out of place because we're in jeans and We did dress up. Oh yeah. You did? Oh yeah. <laughs> we're my TPF gear. But we're not dressed like lords or ladies or butterflies or princesses. Or pirates or... Yeah. Or, or pipe players. Or knights. Or... Knights in shining armor or any of that. I saw a priest. Oh, there's a priest right there. Yeah, so there's a little bit of everything. And it's very, very interesting. So we're just going to check it all out. And we thought you would like to check it out with us. This is reminiscent of... It feels a little bit like Evermore, like a more temporary Evermore. So we went to Evermore in Utah. You can watch our video on that, which is kind of a permanent... Oh, here we go. <laughs> victory, victory is our battle cry. Victory, victory is our battle cry. <laughs> Sorry, Amy, I got distracted. So Evermore <laughs> is kind of themed like this, only it's permanent and it's super cool. It's got a story that goes along with it, so that's a cool video to check out. All right, so we're we going to start walking yeah, around we're gonna, and we're going to see what we find. Yep. Go! So Amy, where are we exactly in the in the in the US of A? This is Kingdom City, Missouri, not far from Columbia. So we drove in last night and stayed in Columbia. It's about a 25-minute drive from Columbia, Missouri. And it looks like we have a lot of craft vendors. And then there's some stages where there's gonna be shows later that we'll have to check those out. Food? Food, yes. So we're just starting walking around. Ah, oh, hey, look at this. What, what's over here, Amy? It's axe throwing. And John's pretty good at this. We, we own an axe throwing business, and even though we own it, I'm terrible, but John's really good. <laughs> Welcome to the Troll Bridge. Hi. Do you wish to cross the bridge? Yes. Well, I require a payment to cross my bridge. Uh, Do you how many sweets, especially pies? I love pies. Do you get pies? Uh, I have a protein bar. Oh wait, I have nerds. I have a box of new nerds. Uh, I prefer pies. Oh no what pies. What about a joke? Do you have a joke? Why <laughs> couldn't the young pirate watch the movie? Why? Because it was rated R. <laughs> Very good. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the <laughs> oh, look, there's a mermaid. Whoa. <laughs> so we're in the little children's area here for the kiddos. And uh, you successfully paid the price. To cross the troll bridge. Yeah. I told a joke. That was a great joke. Yeah. And uh, we saw a mermaid. We saw a mermaid. We're hearing screams and booms and all sorts of things. So here's a pro tip. Only those who are professionals at Renaissance festivals would know this, but uh, pretty important to bring cash. <laughs> exactly. We're used to paying credit for everything and we only had $10 cash on this trip and we used it yesterday for something. So we couldn't do ax throwing and there's probably a lot of vendors. There's a lot of individual vendors. So I would guess that it's up to that individual vendor whether they take credit or not. So. Yeah, I'm guessing credit's not a thing. You know, what are we, 800 years in the past right now? Yeah, now they did take credit cards at the ticket booth. Probably not 800, my, my timing's off. Someone's gonna correct me on that. Leave a comment down below. Yeah, I what, don't know. What, what is the year we're what in? What is the year we're in? I don't know. 
say thank you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Oh, you can pick out a seashell. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Do you want to pick out a seashell, Ella? <laughs> Very good. Oh. You can pet him if you'd like. You Mama, pet him. Stay still so she can pet you, okay? Stay. I told him to stay so he's Go not going to move if you want to touch him. What is this? He's a baby griffin. <laughs> oh, good job. Can I tell him he can move? What do you think? Sure. All right, Namu, you're good. Very good job, buddy. Oh, see, he has wings. Yeah, these are his wings. <laughs> Little tattered, he's still a baby. He's only a couple hundred years old, right? Oh, only a couple yeah. hundred. Only a couple hundred. He still has a few hundred feet of growing left to do yet. Wow. Right, Can we send him with some Griffin magic? Can we send you guys with some Griffin magic today? Okay. All right, Nami, let's pick him up some magic. What do you think? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, you don't like that one, I guess. Oh, there you go. This is to you from Namu. What do you say? Thank you. Very Thank good. you. Pick another good one. Oh, very pretty. This is to you from Namu. I'm giving you a best shot, Les. Are you ready on the count of three? One, two, ten. Hit, it, hit him in the face. Well, now I've said three. Throw it. Oh, my God. It's your turn. Show your sister. Oh, not quite. Great. Okay, before you throw, Father, do you want to give the boy a prayer? Or hasn't he got one? He, he hasn't got one. He's he hasn't got one. <laughs> I feel better about this. I ain't lying. Let's we'll see what you got. 1045, the Prancing Crown stage. So there's lots of shows coming up. I saw there's a, a bard player, or is a bard a singer or a player? You know, I don't Amy, know. I'm not up on my renaissance. Okay. Uh, so there's Lingo. something over there on a stage over here. There's that guy over here that um, juggles a bowling ball. He's coming up. Oh, yeah. And then here we got the sword fight coming up in 11. So lots of shows going on. So there, it looks like, you know, like we said, this is our first time. We have no idea what we're doing. We didn't know what we were in for. But it looks like we've got lots of craft vendors or lots of things to do with individual vendors like axe throwing, knife throwing. You know, you saw the kids chuck their little whatever balls. those balls at that guy and then you've got food and then you've got shows so that seems like a lot and then of course everyone's in character walking around and you interact with all the characters and that's really fun yeah so, and oh, and a lot of them are they have tip buckets out yes yeah, so make sure you bring cash you know i don't know why we didn't realize we would need cash we were just we were scatterbrained doing yeah. all sorts of stuff we were so busy yesterday <laughs> but you really should have cash for tips you should have cash to pay vendors for different things and probably for food, we haven't tried to buy any food yet, but you probably need it for that too. So make sure you do that. And then as far as it being family friendly, there's lots of stuff for the kids, but there are some things that would not be for the Maybe kids. Maybe PG-13 so, is, yeah, is probably. a good way so to say it. There's some um, humor that's a little bit adult and there is one tavern here that is only for age 21 and older. And I've heard that some Renaissance festivals are more adult oriented than others. So I think it's just trying to figure out how family friendly each individual one is. So. Yep, in the background there, they're getting their armor on for the fight. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some pretty cool. That's like the knight in shining armor kind of thing. Yeah. So it looks like there's shows every half hour. So you could definitely make a whole day of it if you're going to watch every single show. And here, like they have an adult costume contest at 11. That would be Not really- Not sure what that's all about. <laughs> I don't know, that might be fun. Yeah, and a child co uh, yep. costume contest and some different stuff going on. But yeah, so lots of different things to see and, you know, little acts and, um, you know, there's going to be a sword fight. And the, uh, the craziest part of this is watching our children walk around and seeing all the cool things that they want to buy. And we have no physical <laughs> ability to, <laughs> to satisfy their Okay, demands. I feel like some of the vendors could take credit cards. I don't know. Y'all don't take credit cards by any chance, do you? <laughs> Oh, they do. They do take. They, they, they take, take credit cards. They take credit cards. You should not have asked, because now our kids know we have the ability to buy stuff. <laughs> Do you guys 
take credit cards by any chance? They do. They do. Okay. So Amy, it looks like our original idea that um, no credit cards is at least partially debunked. Yeah, we were able to buy gifts, we were able to buy food, so there's just some of the vendors that don't accept credit cards, but it seems like some of them do, so at least we're able to get some stuff. Okay, well you are in for a treat. It's intense, it's unchoreographed, it's a bloodbath. Thankfully there's enough space, so you'll imagine the blood splash them, so you should be good. Good but to know. It's crazy, so we have today Sergeant Father, we have Beetle, we have Fireheart, we have Iron Fist. Do any of those names spark interest? And you're like, that is my champion. Iron Fist, yes, yes, he is quite good. You'll have to see them at the ring. I'll come back later to see if he is still your favorite fight. If I count on you to cheer loud, because they need your cheers. Quite honestly, it's it's very very intense. You can't hear much, but if you cheer loud enough, they can hear it, and they're like, oh yes, I must do it for my fans. I will be back. I'm gonna count on you guys. You look like an interesting crew. That's the understatement of the century. <laughs> we look like an interesting crew. Yeah. <laughs> the only ones that are dressed up to it. Well, there's a few others, but <laughs> yeah. So Amy, if you could dress up, what would you be dressed up as right now? I don't know. I kind of like the simple country costumes, kind of like Belle from Beauty and the Beast before she became the princess. I kind of like that look. Maybe I'd be uh, the priest. <laughs> that would fit, right? I guess so. Oh, oh man. Missouri Renaissance Festival. Very unique, lots of stuff I've never seen before and it was really fun to do. I'd like to check some out at other places so if you have a Renaissance Festival that you've been to that's your favorite, please let us know in the content in the comments below and thanks again. Safe travels everyone. Hey, where are we going now? We're in a hurry, huh? We're going to the state penitentiary for a tour. Yeah, get these guys <laughs> used to uh, what could be their future. <laughs> no, let's not say that. <laughs> We must. We have a tour at the state penitentiary, oh. so we're oh, headed well, in. Yeah, I'm the sheriff, so no, no. It's 10 to 20. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. Thank you. Yeah.